Labrador Retrievers are the most popular dog breed in the United States. There are numerous reasons for the desire to have one at home, ranging from their friendly nature and outgoing attitude to their willingness to try almost anything. Hi guys! Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we will talk about the pros and cons, the good and bad of owning a Labrador Retriever. When you have this breed at home, there will be plenty of affection to go around for everyone. They are a larger dog, but by no means unmanageable at 70 to 80 pounds for most individuals. Many of them live to be 10 to 12 years of age, although some individuals can live for up to 20 years. Spaying or neutering will help to encourage longevity and reduce the risk of unwanted offspring. The build of the Labrador Retriever is one that speaks of balance and strength. There are three coat colors from which to choose, black, chocolate, and yellow. They have a wide head, eyes that sparkle with mischief, and a tail that always seems to be wagging in happiness. If you are thinking about the inclusion of a puppy in your home soon, then these are the pros and cons of adding a Labrador Retriever into the mix. Pros of owning a Labrador Retriever One of the most intelligent dogs. The Labrador Retriever is in the top 10 of the smartest dogs in the world according to Stanley Kors ranking, ranking number 7. This makes it one of the most obedient dogs and one that enjoys socialization very much, but also occupying this position allows it to stand out from other breeds and to quickly attend to some commands or teachings that it needs to learn. One of the characteristics that stand out because they are so intelligent is that they can learn a new command in less than 5 repetitions, they also have the ability to remember without the need to practice the tests repeatedly. They respond to the first command at least 95% of the time and one of the most important is that they learn correctly being trained by relatively inexperienced trainers, so with time and patience you can educate your dog and achieve results in a short time. He gets along very well with children. It is a dog that gets along very well with children and in this it also receives top marks from the American Kennel Club. They are very protective of them and are always alert to any situation, and will also always be willing to play and run around the yard or fetch the ball, anything that makes them maintain a connection with the little ones in the house. They are very tolerant to some rough games of the little ones, but as we always say it is important that the child respects and understands that the dog is a living being that deserves respect. In addition, because of its size, supervision must be maintained to avoid a bad blow or a fall. These dogs are very large, and for their size they also enjoy an excellent state of health, which must be maintained along with regular visits to the veterinarian. Their life expectancy can be around 10 to 12 years of age. Excellent temperament. The Labrador Retriever has occupied for 30 consecutive years the first place of the most popular dog breeds in the United States according to the American Kennel Club, it is also considered the most popular dog on the planet according to the records of the clubs of countries registered in the FCI, and one of the reasons for this is undoubtedly its excellent temperament. It is a dog that scores top marks when it comes to family-loving dogs. They enjoy very much the company of their own, they are always ready to receive affection and to give affection to their owners. They get along very well with older adults, to whom they can serve and help in multiple tasks if they are taught. Most of them are not territorial dogs and understand the family hierarchy and their position in it. Also and thanks to their intelligence they respond very well to socialization and positive training where they are rewarded and rewarded. A Labrador will also need to be taken into account in family activities. By following all the requirements, you will have a dog you will hardly forget. Labrador Retrievers are very easy to train. This breed is one of the most intelligent dogs that you will find today. They are easily trained because they love to satisfy the needs of their owners. Playing fetch is a necessary skill for anyone who wants to have a Labrador Retriever for a friend. Although their smarts can get them into trouble sometimes, especially if they figure out how to open the refrigerator door, it tends to be a better relationship since you are working together in life instead of telling the dog what to do all of the time. Because they have a strong food motivation, 
Treats are an effective way to get your Labrador Retriever to learn new behaviors. You'll want to be careful about the number that you offer because problems with weight can develop quickly. Ideal for all types of work. Among the breeds of working dogs, the Labrador Retriever undoubtedly stands out among many for many reasons. But let's start with the first one, it is a retriever dog that could swim and reach the most difficult places to find the prey, it has a very soft and elegant bite that allows it to keep the prey without hurting it, this made it very successful when it was sought for hunting. With the passing of time it has also been discovered that it is an excellent collaborator dog. What is a collaborator dog? It is one that being trained can perform some tasks to help people in need. He can fetch things, turn off the light, turn on the TV and even do actions that have led him to be awarded as a hero. Cons of owning a Labrador Retriever A dog prone to obesity The Labrador Retriever is in the first positions of the dogs most prone to suffer from obesity, it is very common to see in the street this kind of dogs with a considerably high weight for their standards, people without realizing it are part of a diet that affects their health condition and reduces considerably their life expectancy. They are dogs that by their look tempt the person to give them the food they are consuming without knowing that products such as condiments, salt or vegetable oil are not suitable for consumption, it also happens that they feed them with kibble or the diet they are receiving with more portions than indicated, which makes the dog gain weight considerably. To this must be added that if the animal does not receive daily exercise it will not be able to eliminate the calories consumed. Remember that the dog's vertebrae should feel when you touch it, if you no longer feel it, it is likely that your dog needs a special diet and daily outings to reach the right weight. He gets along very well with strangers. Depending on the situation this could be an advantage or disadvantage, but if you are looking for a guard or protection dog it is not really the recommended dog, since for them any person does not represent danger and is a potential great friend. If you are a person who has a very active social life and you receive many visitors in your home, definitely, the Labrador will steal the spotlight because its docile and friendly attitude will be charming for people, however, in moments where a situation that may present danger is occurring, the most it can do is bark. Make sure what you are looking for this dog for if you want a guard dog, you should think about another type of breed that usually are reserved with strangers. A hyperactive dog? To say that a dog is hyperactive is really wrong, however, many call this way the Labrador Retriever, which has even been considered as the misunderstood dog, since people believe that it is a family dog that does not require exercise or activities and will be happy to be in the house doing nothing but, on the contrary. An example of this we saw in the movie Marley and Me, where the dog was making a mess and had his owners tired of so much, but really this is what can happen when a Labrador does not receive the daily dose of exercise it requires. For a Labrador retriever to drain all its energy it will require at least one hour a day outings, games that activate its physical or mental capacities, as well as actions that make it feel useful. Not suitable for sedentary people. The Labrador Retriever is a dog that is not ideal for sedentary people because of the amount of energy it has. It would be much better to have the so-called lap dogs, those that do not require much exercise and like to be next to their owners for a long time. It should be added that not only sedentary people are not suitable for this type of dog, but also people who are very busy, or who due to their work routine do not spend much time at home. They can live without problems in small places like apartments which makes them dogs for the city, but the exercise must be daily and the walks equally. The good thing about having this type of canine is that you force yourself to walk which also has a positive impact on your health. In a fantastic dog for almost all types of people they are also very affectionate and brave, willing to help you and make you feel in company. It is not for nothing that the Labrador Retriever is one of the best dogs in existence, and its disadvantages are minimal to the benefits that such a dog brings to you. What do you think about the Labrador Retriever? One of the best dogs in the world that will always be ready to make you happy and fill you with fun but for so many advantages it needs time and effort to make them feel at home.
That's it guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so you will be notified the next time we upload a video. Feel free to hit the share button too. Every bit helps. See you in the next video.